Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. Hey team, we're using these to catch these. And then to catch these, we're using this. Yep, and I've got another one on the floor. How many crabs have we got? Well, you have to watch Step Outside, it's all coming up. You got a bite, mate? You got a bite? You're hooking, 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 hooking. Get the net ready. to come up here and do your crabbing. And no matter where you are, if you've got some creeks, tributaries, estuaries, maybe rock walls where it comes out of canal systems, or even around mangrove line banks where the mud crabs love to be, is around that tide change. I like a high tide, last of the high, which is we're right on high now, we're swinging around. And then of course, as that tide starts to run out, it pushes all the crabs around. Now, if you do get some freshwater flush happen after some storms or rains, of course, you'll see all the crabs moving out. But I like fresh water. So what will happen is I'll move out into the holes around the entrances to the creeks, canals and rivers. And they'll sit in those holes because there's a lot more salinity, a lot more salt water as that fresh flows across the top. So if you find those holes, you're doing well. And this old riverbed, I reckon, is going to do okay for us. So have a look at this one here. There we go, there we go. Right, I'm liking that. So basically, I just saw that the handle just spun around a little bit. So it's got some weight going onto it. Yep, I can feel him on the end there. So basically all he's doing now, I'm keeping pressure really, really slowly. Super important. And we're just gonna bring him back closer to the boat. He's having a munch on the garfish now, which is Whoa, whoa, did you see that one go? Man, where'd that one go? I'm getting too many fish going off here and crabs everywhere. Where'd this line go? I lost it. There you are. Come back here, mate, I want this crab. As we get closer to the boat, we're just going to slow down, feel him, feel him. Now what I do here is I pull the line over my finger. You can see I'm pulling the line over my finger. I can feel him, he's off the bottom. He's still holding on, which is ideal. I'm going to grab my net, sit that here. Of this thing. Straight on the deck. Hey mate, you don't even know what's caught you, do you? Ah. What an absolute beast of a crab. A beautiful big buck. The male crab, as you can see, has the spigot that goes around here, whereas the female has the larger flap that goes around the under part of the belly. And a good way to tell if these crabs are full, hey mate, is under here, I'm going to avoid that, is underneath here, you put your finger in and you feel it. And if it's really, really firm and not soft, as you know, he's got a load of meat in him. What an absolute gorgeous crab. He's come out of these systems. You can see the, the green here, a lot of moss on him. So he's been living up in these estuaries and tributaries pretty much his life. But that's one, and hopefully we can get a few more. Mate, you're coming home for dinner. So I just want to show you the bait that he was eating. 
again just a bit of garfish it's had a bit of a chomp down here of course but that bait can be reused straight away so we're just going to hook it out there take up a bit of that slack and wait for one of the lines to go off again He's still there, but one of his, his one of his claws has just dropped off the bait. You can feel it. Okay. No. Oh, you're kidding me. That's what happens. I missed that one, unfortunately. But he only just dropped off down here. Check our bait. It's been all over that garfish head, look at that. It's pretty much pecked it clean. It's a bit of meat around the, uh, the eyes, so I'll just put that out here. And see how that goes. Just had another bite come in, so there seems to be a few crabs moving around here. Now, right on that tide change, and that's exactly what happens, so. I'll keep that there, I'll put that in here. So that doesn't take off and hopefully he'll come back. Another one here. This one's good. That line actually started to peel out a bit then, which is great. Come on, mate. It's coming up the side of the engine. Hopefully the engine won't scare him. This is so cool. It's just a different way of catching crabs, you know? All right, buddy. Where are you, mate? There he is. This one's a good one too. This one's actually a really good crab. Sorry, you're probably seeing my back here, but I don't want to lose my crab. Yep, yeah, oh yeah, we got this one. You beauty. As soon as they get hold of the net, they really slow down. So we'll just let him go for a second. You'll want to get away from that. And we come in. We go my Shimano net, buddy. Whee! Oh, you know you... No. Straight under. Index finger goes on top. Middle finger goes around the back of the paw. And the thumb goes on the other side of the back flipper there as well. Just like so. And that way I can control him. You can use your middle finger to come back around or your index finger to hold in place of the middle finger, but I find it comfortable. Whatever you're comfortable in doing, and as long as you're holding. He's, um, he's not as big as the first crab we got, but still a quality crab for sure, and you're not gonna bite me, are you, buggy? Little bit empty there. He's not too um, firm, so still got a bit of meat on him, for sure, it's nice weight. But I'll put him in the, uh, in the esky with the other one and keep him happy. Crabs are for lunch and dinner. And I still got more lines out.
What an absolute epic session there. We've got a couple of crabs. There's another one sitting on the deck here. Here you go, buddy. You gonna get out of there for me? <laughs> yep, absolute cracker. Have a look at that. Now, this is just the difference as well. This one here, I caught early and I said it wasn't really full. Have a look at the color, but have a look at the color of that. This beautiful dark muddy is absolutely loaded with quality Queensland mud crab meat. And I'll tell you what, you put that on a Sanger, once you boil it up, of course, and a little bit of vinegar, salt, pepper, fresh bakery bread, and some nice chunks of butter. It's hard to go past. Well, three crabs, I'm done. Here's a few tips if you want to give this hand lining a crack for yourself. Nice. Now here's some tips to hand lining for mud crabs. I like to use a hand line with a minimum of 20 pound line class. For the bait, fresh garfish, pretty hard to beat, although mullet will also work the treat. Enough sinker weight to keep the bait down. You don't want it floating mid current or on the surface. You won't catch anything. Fish the last of the tide change. That's when the current slows down. And to scoop them up, use a long-handled, heavy-duty landing net. Good luck. And of course, thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.